Hi guys, happy Thursday. It is April 23rd and we are going to begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we pray together, teach me God to add love and mercy towards others, to subtract sin and anxiety from my life, to multiply the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and to divide our differences as I share with others acts of mercy today. Let us pray for Lila and for all of us who have lost people that we love um, and care about. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's all add our own intentions here. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Um, so we have four things that you need to copy down today. Um, I have those um, typed up so you can look at your notes. Um, hopefully you've looked at those and um, familiarized yourself with them. If not, um, you need to do that. We're going to talk about these for a second. So congruent polygons have exactly the same size and shape. Size and shape. So congruent is another word really for equal, right? So if I had um, two <coughs> uh, triangles, and you're going to have to trust me that they're not perfect, but, um, and all of these sides were the same. Remember, hash marks that um, are the same indicate the same uh, that they're congruent or that they're equal, okay? Um, so, are these the same size? They look like they're the same size. Are they the same shape? They are the same shape. And this tells us that these sides are the same length. Um, so those are congruent. All right. Similar polygons have the same size, but I'm sorry, the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So I might have something like this. Okay, those are um, both um, equilateral triangles. They're the same shape, but they are not necessarily the same size. They could have been. It's possible that they could be, but, but then they'd be congruent. Okay, um, doesn't have to look like that, obviously. It could be, um, and... Something like that, okay? Those um, are both the same shape, but not the same size. Those are similar. That means close to, right? So the shape is the same, but not necessarily the same size. All right, so we have two different things to look at here. Corresponding parts of congruent polygons are congruent. So if this corresponds with this, they're the same, okay? Let's say I did, did it like that. This is the same as this. They both have two hash marks. Do you see that? Can you see that? I can barely see that. There you go. Hopefully. No, I went down too far. Um, two hash marks, two hash marks. One, 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 one. So if I named this five meters, what would you know about this side right here? It has to be five meters because they both have one hash mark and they're the same. Um, if these are congruent and I have two hash marks and two hash marks, and I say this is 10 meters, then this would have to be 10 meters. This would be five. This would be five. So we'd mash our, match our hash marks up and know that those are congruent. All right. Um, so when we're looking at corresponding parts, that means matching sides and matching angles of congruent polygons, they are congruent. Do you remember, I'll erase this and try it again. Um, so let's do this and then this. Hmm. They don't look exactly the same, do they? But they're close. Okay, there we go, that's closer. Um, so if I say this and, okay. Um, but the other thing is, look at this. This angle and this angle have just one um, angle marker, 
Do you guys see that? Hopefully. Oh, hopefully I'm not making you ill. Okay, do you see how each one of those had one? Now let's take a look at this. This one has two. This one has two. Those are corresponding angles. And they are congruent. Okay, they match up. Even though they're one's written upside down, uh, flipped upside down, they're still the same. Okay, that pointy part and this pointy part, and I've got two um, marks there and two marks here. That means those angles are the same. They are congruent. All right, so if you have congruent polygons, then the matching sides and the matching angles are also congruent. So if I said this was um, 50 and this was, what would this have to be? 50. If I said um, this was 65, what would this have to be? 65. Okay, they match, right? That's one, that's one. If I flip those, they'd be the same. And this would be 65, and this would be 65. And that should add up to 180, because that is what the inside of a triangle equals. All right. Um, now let's look at corresponding angles of similar polygons. So let's look at these similar ones. Are the sides the same? No, but the angles must be, or they wouldn't be the same shape. So again, I can mark this and this. Let's say I have this, this has two, and this has one, two, three. This would be one, two, three. Okay, so that means those would, can you, oh my gosh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Can you tell that I did the same ones there? So I've got one here, one there, two there, two there, three there, three there. So you know that whatever degree this is, so if I say this is um, 40, and I say this is 60, and I say this is 80, then what would you know about this one that has one um, angle mark there? This, oops, now I just made it look like there's two, one. So this would have to be 60 degrees. This three here would be 40 degrees. This one up here that has two, 80 degrees. So I can match up the angles of similar polygons. Look what I wrote really big. Not the sides. Okay. If the sides were the same, then they would be congruent. But they're not. Sometimes you have some that, you know, that are, and nothing matches up. None of the angles are the same. None of the sides are the same. So they're just not similar or, nor are they um, congruent. They're neither. Okay, so today in your homework, um, they are going to, I'm going to have you um, on page 354 and 355. Um, let's take a look at 354. So I had asked you to have this open as we were doing this. Let's look at the um, corresponding matching sides and matching angles of congruent polygons. Um, remember how we write congruent. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming you guys have all this down. If not, then you need to pause it and go back or just look at the notes that I've written out. Um, so they did... Ah, those are not perfect, but that's all right. M, Z, K, L... Those are at the vertexes, J, D, F, and H. So if I told you um, that these are congruent polygons, what would the matching sides be? So M, Z, right? And normally I'm going to write M, Z like that when we do this. We can't do that, remember, so we're, we'll just write MZ. But that is congruent, so I'm doing the little woo 
the little swoopy one, to what? J, D, or D. Actually, I'm going to go from the same thing. So I did M to Z. So I'll start at the bottom and go D to J. Okay. What about if I said H, J? What would be congruent with H? I started on the right and went to the left. It would have to be what? K, Z. Okay, so you see how I do that? If I start at the bottom, F, H is congruent to what over here? I start at the bottom, L, K. Does that make sense? Okay, um, same with my angle. So look at that other um, thing that they have on page, the other diagram of uh, this time two, um, try and do this again. Okay, this is P, Q, R. And this one is. U T S. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to tell you that these are similar. Oh, I should have drawn one bigger. Let's try it. <laughs> Here's my drawing difficulties here, guys. Okay. U T S. Okay. So, um, notice that here they said this is 36 degrees. This is 26 degrees in there. And this is 118 degrees. And so they want to know what are the corresponding angles to these similar ones. Well, if angle P, so think about how this is arranged, you guys. We'd almost have to flip it over, wouldn't we? So what's the matching one to Q? T? So Q, angle Q, is congruent to angle T. So angle T would equal 118 degrees. Um, what about angle P? So think about how this is laid out. Try think it would be flipped over. So angle P would be congruent to angle S. So angle S would be 36 degrees. So that leaves us angle R, which is congruent to angle U, and what would that be? 26 degrees. Okay, the angles of similar triangles or polygons, the angles are congruent. That's what gives them the same shape. All right, um, so when you are doing page 355 today, um, you're just going to have to tell if it's congruent or not congruent, um, or tell me what the corresponding part is, um, tell me if it's congruent or similar or neither, um, and then sometimes you'll have to name the sides or name the angles amounts um, by knowing what the other congruent or matching part is. All right, um, I think you will do well with this. Um, it's the last day of the week that we're doing something new. Remember, we're having our popcorn party on um, a Zoom, popcorn Zoom party on Friday. So that should be fun. That's not going to replace math. It'll just be a little extra fun thing to do. Okay, um, smile, tell yourself, I love math. And it will become true. You really will love math. But not as much as you love Jesus. Bye.